Hello, happy Wednesday! Welcome back! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> this is Dr. Medea Said. I'm a board certified integrative holistic family physician, and I'm coming to you live from my house with my son, Abdullah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is how old? Eleven. Eleven. And in what grade? Fifth. <laughs> and we are going to talk about today factors of inflammation, how to heal and prevent chronic diseases in all ages. And we're just going to do a quick recap, right, with Abdullah's help, because I have to let you know that. Um, Especially when the new year started, we all have New Year's resolutions, right? Who doesn't? I want to know. I know I have tons of people coming and joining me online. Um, thank you guys for your time. I know your time is so precious, so I'm honored that you would join us today. And I want to let you know I'm here for you, but I would love to know where you're from. So if you could tell us where you're from, um, how your New Year's was, if you've made, what your New Year's resolution is, I would love to know what your New Year's resolutions are because I want to help you. I want you to succeed in your New Year's resolutions, okay? Because I know I have some. I'm trying to work on mine too, so um, we can do this together. So where, uh, where are you from? What are your New Year's resolutions? I want to know. Will you want to know? Yeah. <laughs> So we both want to know what your New Year's resolutions are. So to recap, first, let's talk about who we are. Who are we that we are talking about inflammation, right? Let me move this back a little bit more here. There we go. So now you can see both of us. <laughs> I am Dr. Medea Said, a board-certified integrative holistic family physician, and I was born and raised in Naperville, Illinois, which I still reside. And... Um, Right after residency, so I had m multiple of the same bad habits that have led most of chronic diseases, most people down the road to chronic disease. And here, join us, Zan. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, and now this is Zan. Zan, how old are you? Eight. Eight. He's my eight-year-old. So we have, uh, I was sick and tired of being sick and tired because in residency is when all my symptoms really came to a head. I had Hashimoto's, I had developed lupus, I had shingles, problems with severe fatigue, um, acne, seborrheic dermatitis, I had um, you know, eczema, then I had joint pain, fatigue, severe digestive complaints, especially after this one was born. But um, where I was, but I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired. Until one day I was like, no, I need to take care of these children the best that I know how. But how am I going to take care of these children the best that I know how if I don't even know how to take care of myself? So I made it my lifelong mission. Right after residency, I joined this medical practice where under one roof, there's me, an OBGYN, an internist, an exercise physiologist, nutritionist, counseling, chiropractor, massage therapy, all brought together for the complete healing of the whole person, a concept that was really foreign to me. Because in my residency, we were really taught, here's a problem, here's a pill, here's a problem, here's another treatment, here's a problem, here's a treatment. Nobody looked at the underlining root cause because in 15 minutes, my husband, who is also a family physician, he has to see 110 patients a week for our paycheck not to go half. And that, I was looking at a schedule today, they're slotted every 10 minutes to 15 minutes at the most. 10 to 15 minutes per, 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 per time slot. So in 10 to 15 minutes, we, do not, we cannot educate you or even find out what the root cause of your symptoms may be. So... Right after residency, I joined this amazing medical practice who really taught me what conventional medicine left behind because we know that conventional medicine is great for acute conditions, right? But not so great with chronic conditions. And that way, you know, so when I started, my first patient was a 31-year-old with nine autoimmune diseases. She had myasthenia gravis, psoriasis, legus planus, Sjogren's, Hashimoto's. She had all these chronic conditions and she was sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sound like me. But for her, it was really life-threatening because she was on the highest dose of Mestinon and they wanted to put her on Imuron, which she was like, I have, like every corner she turned, there was another autoimmune disease. Does this like sound like you? I want to know if this sounds like you. Give me your heart love. Give me your sad faces. Um, 
that you just go to doctor to doctor with like just hitting the wall. And that's what I felt. And when, especially when I developed lupus and um, I wanted to get to the root cause because these diseases can kill you eventually. But what's really cool is that if you identify the root cause, you can heal not one symptom, but then all of them simultaneously. Right? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to discuss what I did, what I wrote in my book. My book is called The Holistic Rx, Your Guide to Healing Chronic Inflammation and Disease. I want to know your questions. Please let me know. Beth, hey, Beth. So Beth is going to be trying to, um, she's from LaGrange. Oh, just right here. Yay. And on the Whole30, and that's your resolution. Then stay off of gluten. Yay. Woohoo, Beth. So excited. So again, if you're just joining us, uh, I would love to know where you're from. I would love to know your New Year's resolution because I want to try to help you with that. And uh, um, what my New Year's resolution was is to help as many people as possible. And I know just last week I was on a stage of uh, a huge stage in McCormick Place um, where I was able to help up so many. So please honor me to help you today too. So let's go ahead and get, dive right in. Ready to dive right in? Yeah. <laughs> so, and now Abdullah's gonna help me with this because remember, he knows what he's doing. Um, so if no matter what you're dealing with, autism, depression, skin disorders, digestive complaints, all of these problems are all due to? Inflammation. Inflammation. Abdul, can you tell me what inflammation is? Well, inflammation actually means a fire inside, like that inflammation. So, and it's something we're all familiar with, like something that like hurts inside that causes all that inflammation is, like, is actually the cause of many chronic diseases. Really? Yes. Wow. And so I think there's two types of inflammation. Yeah. There's two types of inflammation. One's called acute inflammation and the other is chronic inflammation. Acute inflammation or the better inflammation, but is like maybe like a cold or flu or something like that. That lasts for a short time. Yeah. It serves a healthy purpose. And um, it's basically when you're trying to fight off infections, just like Abdullah said, um, heal from injuries and protect you from disease. But that's sort of a healthy purpose, a short term, and then it gets better and is beneficial. But what happens if it continues? If it continues, then it's called a chronic disease or bad inflammation. Chronic inflammation is so good. good job. It's like this in the chronic inflammation usually is called um, is uh, maybe autism. Cancer, uh, ADHD. Good job. Many other many chronic conditions. chronic conditions. So let's explain exactly what that is, because what happens is that chronic inflammation gradually destroys this magnificent masterpiece that they're born with, and it, it's that hot, fierce smoldering, painless fire that's created by your body's immune system as it tries to fight off modern life daily exposures. Like what? Food, Food stress, stress, toxins, yeah. Um, overgrowth of bad bugs, and even low-grade infections that drive obesity and chronic disease. So these triggers all cause an increase in inflammatory cytokines. Yes. And what happens is that when properly function functioning, right, these... Um, the inflammation stays in control, right? Because the inflammatory responses are controlled. But over time, if it's constantly bombarded in all directions, over time it loses control, it goes down to overdrive, the cytokines, cytokines go crazy and start killing everything in its path, destroying everything, leading to chronic diseases of every stripe. And that is what is so crazy, right? Um, so that chronic inflammation is the root cause of your chronic symptoms. But, and why is this really scary? Because what are they saying in autism? So autism, they say, is how many in autism? Uh, by 2033? Well, by 2033, one in every four children will have autism, autism. by 2033. Isn't that crazy? And because we don't, we still don't know, yes, and we're spending trillions of dollars just to try to suppress symptoms or coming up with a pharmaceutical approach, but actually we have the tools that we need 
to really help heal those chronic conditions. And that is through our lifestyle, right? Because there's an entire study called epigenetics. Epigenetics is the study of change of in our gene function without physical mutation in the DNA structure. So genes may load the gun, but the environment pulls the trigger. And so everything that you do can really determine how you feel. The other reason why chronic diseases on a rise is because it's all also on a rise because of antibiotics. We're giving too many antibiotics, and then what else? Also because of alter nutrition. Yeah, what like the like GMO? Like GMO, right? Where <laughs> it's like genetically modified, so our bodies are not used to it. Also that we're what else? Also because of excessive hygiene. Wow, why? Because the fact that you need your, we need those. So when it kills 99% of the, like we use Clorox or all these disinfectants and it kills 99% of the bugs, bacteria. It's, what is it also doing on the inside? It's killing our microbiome, right? And then what are, what are the other two things that can cause that? Those why chronic things are diseases like arise? Methylation defects and environmental toxins. So, that's so there's why, so many toxins in our environment. Yeah, and it's our, it's everywhere. Our, it's everywhere. And our bodies used to handling the toxins? No. <laughs> so our bodies are not used to handling these toxins. And so that is why we really need to get to the underlying root cause. And inflammation is a complex problem because everybody is different. So what will maybe is for you may not be, so I might be eating well, but I'm not exercising properly. Or I might be eating well, but I'm not, I'm pessimistic, I'm more negative mind, or, you know, somebody, so it depends on what your individual puzzle piece is, so that is where the, confu it's like a complex problem to really figure out what your individual deficiencies may be, but what's really cool is, Abdullah is going to explain the main factors of inflammation, that if we can keep these pieces in balance and in tune, we can heal not one symptom, but then all of them simultaneously. So, Dilla, can you discuss those really fast? So, there's uh, detoxification. Then we have uh, bad foods. Unhealthy gut. Uh, you don't have gratitude. Negativity. So negativity. And then the social... So, like, everybody around you, like... Bullies and all that kind of stuff. You don't want people to drag you down. You want people to rise you up. And then also the sleep and stress. Management. Perfect. So let's quickly talk about each one of those pieces, right? Yeah. And for every single solitary one of our patients, I always talk about... Where do I always start off with? I always start about, off with digestive health. Your digestive health and gratitude. Yeah. Right? So immediately when you wake up in the morning... So this is this part here spirituality so we want to make sure that deficits in any of these can lead to inflammation that's above Abdullah's head look he has a little fire coming up from his head <laughs> digest it and then can lead to your chronic conditions I know this is backwards I'm sorry um but so let's quickly talk about this I'd like to start with this gratitude so immediately so what do we do with gratitude in our house for gratitude we meditate and uh we sing thankful songs. Yeah. So immediately when we wake up in the morning, I want to say 10 things that you're thankful for. I know these things sound so simple, but I swear because I have the doctor of last resort and I teach functional medicine doctors, I teach uh, uh, um, integrative doctors, I teach all of these. These are the pieces that are so simple that we're all missing. And so we got to start off with these simple things because the people that come to me have already been to functional medicine doctors, have already been to integrative doctors. And because I'm the first person that has really put together functional, integrative, holistic in one source, in one book, um, I like to start off with the basics because if your foundations aren't strong, then we really can't build. So I don't like to push tons of supplements until our bases are really, really strong and we have these core lifestyle pieces in place. And that is your your gratitude so immediately when you wake up in the morning say 10 things that you're thankful for S keep people around you that love you optimize sleep stress management incorporate meditation prayer all those things clear the toxins from our house and then also um we have your nutrition and gut because our gut controls 
70 to 80% of our immune system. We also have 100 trillion bacteria that line our gut lining. If those guts are, normally we have a nice tight junctions, right, within our gut lining. But what happens is that over time when we have more bad bacteria versus good bacteria, they don't do their job well. They let things through that should not be getting through. That goes and 70 to 80% of the immune system is like, hey, you shouldn't be here, so I'm going to go attack you, leading immune complexes that go all over the body. This leads to, so it's called what? Leaky gut syndrome or yes. increased intestinal permeability. And what does those cause? Those cause things like... All chronic diseases. Yes. Right? So it causes all chronic diseases. And so if we can, how are we going to put out the fire in our gut? In order to put out the fire, you have to do all of this stuff. Right? You have to Perfect. detoxify, gratitude. You have to have stress management, eat the right way. Don't go to McDonald's every day. Yeah. What's wrong with McDonald's? Well, they use all they use all like artificial foods, non the non the GMO, and they a lot of chemicals. Yeah, the more chemicals. Just because it tastes good and it's on the dollar menu, it's actually making you sicker. So, um, so we first have to remove those bad foods, right? Yeah. And those are what are the bad foods you have to remove? The bad foods you have to remove are like the things that are artificial or. They have no grains, no, no grains. dairy, sugar, sugar, no processed foods, and then replace it with vegetables, protein, healthy fats. Yeah. Abdullah does the lunches every single solitary day. It's really cool because the fact that he just goes down the list: vegetables, protein, healthy fats, and then um, bone broth yeah. and fish oil to reseal the gut and heal it. And then what we want to do is the supplements. So detoxification. I always tell people that once you're incorporating these pieces your body's going to feel worse before it feels better why because it's it's called the die off reaction and in the die off reaction your gut bacteria cuz we're adding now good foods and you're replacing all the bad stuff right you're adding the good foods in when you take out all the bad stuff add the good stuff in you kill off the good bacteria sorry bad bacteria when you kill off the bad bacteria it releases its toxins. And when it releases its toxins, guess what happens? You feel miserable for a little bit. So it's called the die-off reaction. For that, the Epsom salt baths. I think we did one today, right? Epsom salt baths? Yeah. Yeah. We do them a couple times a week, um, especially during this season where everybody's colds and coughs. Um, we do them Epsom salt baths. And another thing that we do, especially right now, is we do some nasal saline rinses almost every night to really keep our passages clean and get rid of whatever is lingering up there that can cause disease. So it's really cool, again, to detoxify as best as you possibly can and then incorporate these gut healing approaches to really heal your gut. So whenever you eat, you want to make sure that you balance out two things. You want to balance your microbiome and you want to heal your insulin resistance. You want to make sure they have glucose is regulated and it's the most nutrient dense foods for you. Keeping this in mind, again, that's vegetables, protein, healthy fats. It's always important also to go to your doctor to get a set of labs done that I do, like a CBC, a CMP, a TSH, an anti nuclear antibody. Um, I do ferritin, magnesium, B12, vitamin D, lipids, uh, CMP, uh, magnesium. Uh, homocysteine, HSCRP, and also your um, thyroid antibodies. So I always, I always check those because again, your your specific individual and individual deficiencies really make a difference. Okay. So nutrition wise, supplements because we can do the best. We do vegetables, protein, healthy fats. But the supplements, I'm not a big supplement person. Even though I have researched supplements up the wazoo, as you can tell in my book, I've really dived into supplements. But the supplements that we really want to focus on are, which ones? Which ones do we take regularly? Magnesium and fish oil. And? That's all. Probiotics. Oh, yeah. Obviously. And then vitamin D. Yes. So um, vitamin D, fish oil, probiotics, and magnesium. Those are the ones that 90% of my, 99% of my patients all get. <laughs> and then depending on your individual deficiencies, then you get more of it. And that is specifically, so probiotics, Beth, hey Beth, you just asked a question. Um, so if you guys are just joining us, please let us know where you're from um, and what your New Year's resolutions are. 
What is your New Year's resolution? Have you ever thought about that? No. Mine's to drink more water. Mm-hmm. And to intermittent fast. Stop eating at a certain time. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So far, so good. So supplements. So supplements is really cool because even though supplements never replace a healthy diet, but because we're always on the go and on the, the way that our foods are prepared and the way that we're um, doing them, there's still a lack of nutrition in those foods. So it's best to supplement. The ones that I really recommend are fish oil. So at least one to two grams of EPA and DHA per day. Again, most of us are not getting enough EPA, DHA through our fish. Um, two, vitamin D, where all, 99.9% of the people that I see are all deficient. I want your level between 50 to 100. And then we have is um, magnesium, right? We have um, about 400 milligrams of magnesium is usually where I like to start off. And um, then we have is magnesium, fish oil, probiotic, and probiotics. So the kids' probiotics that I really like and the kids really like, right, mm-hmm. are Garden of Life probiotics. And there's a doctor's formula that I get a Fruitful Yield or Whole Foods. You can buy them at the, both places. But what's really cool is that they also have an adult's version and there's even Claire. So Claire probiotics I like for adults and children um, that when you get off of Amazon. So let's see. I think that's about it. That's a quick recap. Um, I'm, we're still here for you. I still get all the messages. Please let us know where you're from, what your New Year's resolution is. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Sophie. Mwah. Um, yes. Mandy, we are gonna we're gonna love to help you heal your son's leaky gut because if Abdullah can do it, anybody can do it. And my kids live this type of lifestyle, um, and we all live this type of lifestyle. So if we can do it, you can. Um, stuck in my throat all the time. Um, yeah. So again, it's all inflammation related, Miriam. So we got to just focus on the inflammation. And how are you going to do that? We got to start with all of these different pieces. And I know it may sound very difficult and it's sometimes really too basic just by incorporating these key pieces into your daily life. But I promise you, over nine years of experience with the people of my, I'm the doctor of last resort who have even been to all these other functional medicine doctors, I can help you. And it all stems down to getting back to the basics and keeping the supplements as low as possible. So if you have any questions, I'm here for you. Um, Beth says, what are the healthy fats your kids eat? Well, we eat avocados, olives, um, nuts. Yep, so he's got it. And if, and this is really, I'm trying to educate people that if these children can do it, you can do it. Because do we live this lifestyle at home? Yes. Yes, we do. And so, Please, you guys, let me know. It will be great to answer any other questions that you guys may have. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a great day next week. Mwah.